Urban Villages is a key element of the Northern Ireland executives together building a united community strategy. Government departments are working with local councils, local people and other partners to foster positive community identities, build community capacity and improve the physical environment. The Colin area in West Belfast is made up of four large housing estates built in the 1960s. Isolation and access are significant issues. Colin has a very young population and strong neighbourhood community groups, but wants to be able to offer young people more to do. The west end of the Belfast Rapid Transport System will be in Colin, and the transport hub, supported by urban villages and the Department of Infrastructure, will be the first new building in Collins town centre. There are plans to make the most of Collins green spaces, to improve pathways and lighting, and to support projects that bring people together to enjoy them. We're also helping to support local organisations who promote a positive identity for young people through sport or simply by providing meeting places. The Bogside and Fountain neighbourhoods make up the Derry London Derry Urban Village initiative. Situated close to the city centre, this is one of the most densely populated areas of the city and also one of the most deprived. Dereliction and vacancy are major issues, along with long-term unemployment. But there's a lot of good work going on. An inspiring spirit of self-help is at the root of the area's community organisations. Gardens, allotments and a play park in the fountain have already been established and STEM clubs are planned to encourage young people into the digital industry. People are working together with government departments to try and ensure that the improvement of Meenan Square will be a landmark change. The urban villages area in Eastside focuses on the Newton Arge Road from Grampian Avenue to the city centre and neighbourhoods next to it. Once a bustling retail area with a huge workforce linked to the shipyard and other industries, there are now challenges, including lots of empty retail premises and dereliction. In Eastside, we're working to create a vibrant and connected community through the regeneration of key sites and buildings. We will work with local traders and other agencies to make the area prosperous again. There's a real enthusiasm and success in arts and creativity within the area, and we want to support this and build skills and learning in the creative industries for everyone's benefit. Ardoyne and Greater Ballysillan comprise a sizeable part of North Belfast, which extends to approximately 23 square kilometres with more than 43,000 residents. The area suffers from a lack of commercial investment with no big employers in the area. Buildings lying derelict have a detrimental effect on the people living here. The presence of multiple interfaces, high levels of residential segregation and at times an unstable community coexistence are features of everyday life. There are a number of key locations and iconic landmarks which would benefit from coordinated public and private investment. Creating safe corridors will help connect communities and encourage positivity around culture and identity. We are working with local people to keep building a sense of pride about their area and to support projects that celebrate what is possible. The South Belfast Urban Villages area includes the communities of The Markets, Donegal Pass and Sandy Row. All three neighbourhoods are next to the city centre but feel cut off with congested commuter routes. Physically transforming these neighbourhoods into bright and welcoming areas will make a huge difference, encouraging business to invest there. There's also a great opportunity to create physical access to a vibrant city centre and routes to public spaces and to focus on key sites and buildings that could regenerate places and provide new enterprise opportunities. Urban Villages is working across the executive and with local government and community partners to help support thriving places. It firmly supports the overarching priorities and commitments of the Together Building a United Community Strategy and Programme for Government. 